Wright can complete a century of goals for Arsenal today if he scores against his old club, Crystal Palace. Wright's two goals in the Cup Winners' Cup tie against Nicosia moved him onto that milestone, and he's recovered from an injury picked up in the game to take his place in an Arsenal side, which again shows just one change, despite this being the third match in the space of six days. Andy Linigan, who came on as a substitute for Martin Keown in midweek, retains that place. And since Paul Davis got back into the team, Arsenal have won all three matches without conceding a goal. Well, Crystal Palace, who are still looking for a first win since their return to the Premier Division, have been tagged young and inexperienced by their manager, Alan Smith. They've only managed four goals between them this season, and they badly need Chris Armstrong to end the leanest goal-scoring spell of his career. It's just one in eight so far. The referee today, Mr. Martin Bodenham from Lewin Cornwall. And it's a sign of just how busy things are here at Highbury at the moment. It's uh, only 41 hours since Arsenal completed the Cup Winners' Cup business against Nicosia. As Lee Dixon puts it out for the first corner. And Crystal Palace will remember the last league fixture they played here. They lost 3-0 and were relegated. And a few weeks later, their manager Steve Koppel resigned. In comes the ball from the first corner, out by Adams. Salako, play is waved on by Mr. Bodenham. Selly, who got his body in front of Salako. And Dar was very tight to Dean Gordon on that left side. Nicely nicked away by Gordon, but he had to check back. Swartz stuck with him, and now Dixon can clear the danger. And Patterson not standing on ceremony. Happy to put that one out and concede the throw. George Graham, the most successful manager in the history of Arsenal, already finding something to get on the phone about. Right. First shot for Ian Wright. Stung the fingers of Nigel Martin, but it was just where the keeper would have wanted it. Well, it will be a, an afternoon of mixed emotions for Ian Wright if he records that 100th goal. He's played in 141 matches for Arsenal so far. Davis. That might fall nicely for Smith. Here's Wright! Is this the 100? It's the side netting, and Ian Wright and the Arsenal faithful have to wait a little bit longer. They know it's inevitable, and it will arrive eventually, but they thought it had then. Wright stole on, he got round Nigel Martin, lifted it beyond the angle of post and bar. Oh, he's kept possession, and that's a good ball out wide. Salako, got Southgate in the middle, and Dars there. Armstrong's up in support as well. Twisting and turning and twice just failing to deliver the cross that was needed. But that's when Palace have looked dangerous, when they've broken from the halfway line with pace. And that was not a push in the back of Armstrong, although it certainly looked to have been one. Here's Merson. Smith was in there. And just the one front player for Crystal Palace. And maybe Armstrong is the only one they'll need. Salako is offside, the flag went up straight away. But you can see Palace scoring in this match. Chris Armstrong peeling off wide. He was a solitary attacker for a long time there, but he held up possession until Salako arrived, and it was a tight decision. Schwartz took it off him, in it comes, out by Richard Shaw. Again, Paul Davis just claiming possession and putting Arsenal back on the attack. Smith, not forward there, there's a good chase on here, Linigan in pursuit of Armstrong, he won't catch him, into the penalty area, off the post, Salako, Palace have scored! And it was another one of those quick breaks from the halfway line. 
they were maybe a little fortunate in the original build-up. But it never looked as though Linigan would catch Chris Armstrong. And as they got closer to the penalty area, the distance was growing. He'd beaten Seaman, didn't beat the woodwork. But who's there? Salako, 1-0. Palace had scored their fifth goal of the season since their return to the Premier Division. And they're leading Arsenal 1-0. Armstrong, Southgate, supported by Newman, made it difficult for Undar, that's Gordon, Undar nicely through, Gordon, he just wanted too many touches, but Palace is still keeping the pressure on Southgate, I'm not sure whether David Seaman saw that late, it was a fine save from a snapshot by the Palace captain and Seaman having to go full length there were certainly one or two players offside but referee and linesman agreeing that at that stage they weren't interfering with play and referee had a good view of the tussle between Smith and Southgate and maybe as George Graham looks at this match will begin to feel that the exertions of three games in the space of six days are visible Arsenal don't look totally in control at the back and it will be understandable if one or two players are getting a little bit tired and hit the back of Winterburn Armstrong and it hit the hand of the defender as well but it surely couldn't have been intentional Ian Wright was nicked away from him off the foot of the defender so it'll be an Arsenal throw Winterburn to lift it into the penalty area Smith to try and flick on Merson Coleman blocked it corner Alan Smith won't be disappointed with the way his team have performed in this first half. Especially when so many of them are so young. Adams won it. Nigel Martin relieved that Adams directed it over his crossbar. Patterson, fortunate that his captain was there. And there one or two tackles flying in, and here's Armstrong breaking down the right. He's got Salako in the middle. Salako! It was pin precision, and Palace lead two goals to nil. And George Graham pointing there knows where his team went wrong but it's too late to put it right now and Chris Armstrong may not be getting on the score sheet himself this season but he's an unselfish provider look how precise that was to Salako scoring the goal was the easiest bit what a duo and what a good job they're doing for Palace Ian Wright, look how quickly Shaw came out to him. There's an offside flag up against Arsenal, which the referee has now acknowledged. Richard Shaw. Well, Arsenal came into this match having scored 17 goals in the last five games against Crystal Palace. But what a turn up in the first half. Alan Smith's side well deserving to be ahead by two goals to nil. John Salako on the anniversary of the day when he picked up that really serious injury which nearly ended his career with two first half goals to leave Arsenal asking all sorts of questions in the dressing room. Arsenal nil. Crystal Palace 2 
it's a bold hand by Arsenal because Kevin Campbell is on at the start of the second half as a replacement for Paul Davis as Arsenal revert to a 4-3-3. Ian Wright, Merson, who's right on this left side. And there are a few more bodies in there for Arsenal to look for now. Here's Wright, brings it out to Dixon. Selly. It's Patterson who took it off him. And Solako to get Palace going again. Armstrong, Adams who covered. Well, the venom was directed at teammates who weren't where Adams thought they should be. Campbell on it, then Selly. Adams! Well done, Darren Patterson. Adams looked as though he was going to get goal number four of this season. But it was the right back, Patterson, who thwarted him. Wright just helping it on with the forehead to Merson, into the penalty area, left-footed. Patterson got in the way, corner. It's a real test of Palace's resolve. Linigan back header, Adams grew, but he didn't quite get tall enough. But it was the two central defenders again involved in that attack for Arsenal. Linigan helped it on, Adams was there. Dixon knew where Campbell was. He's turned. And picked up a bit of pace as well, Campbell. Wright lays it out. Dixon. Selly. Came off the defender. Arsenal force another corner. It's a good spell for Arsenal. They'll be disappointed if they don't get something from this spell of pressure at the start of the second half. Shot was by... Saved on the line by Martin. Merson who had the shot right through a crowded penalty area and it was a fine stop by Nigel Martin Armstrong well, he's holding back because there's nobody in a good position to give it to and then a misunderstanding Schwartz for Wright Patterson's with him still right still twisting and turning Well, it's a much better fixture, this, than you could really have expected when you see that one of the two teams involved a second bottom in the Premier Division. Arsenal themselves only in 14th place. Here's Smith. Schwartz. Selly. Schwartz just knocking it in. Right. Great strike. Super shot. Even better save. Martin with the fists clenched. Tight together in front of his face. And there was so much pace on the shot that Martin save saw the ball. Cannon out for a throw in. He has to reach it. He's done it now. Ian Wright has claimed the ball. Arsenal have got the goal. And Ian Wright has recorded his 100th goal since he joined Arsenal. Martin kept the shot out a few seconds earlier. Put the ball to the back post, had him beaten. And Ian Wright is acclaimed all around Highbury. It's a milestone in a marvellous career. And it's taken him just 142 games to score 100 goals. You'd have to feel sorry for Palace 
if they don't get at least something out of this match, but anything is now possible. Solarco to run at Adams. Solarco! He was in full flow and always looked likely to get around Tony Adams with the ball at his feet, forcing the defender to backpedal, showing it to him, then knocking it past and then just sweeping it wide of the post. Corner. Despite whatever Dean Gordon says. There's Armstrong who stayed up field and if Palace get possession, he'll be the player they're looking for. Schwartz. Dixon knocks it up. It's a real scramble. The shot was deflected. Mercer who hit it. And the deflection would have been cruel on Nigel Martin if he'd have evaded him. Good strike by Merson. Meanwhile, Solarco torments them at the other end, and that was dipping wickedly. Winterburn. Adams is staying forward now permanently. There he is, over the top. Campbell! Wonderful save by Martin. Adams is forward. Constantly now to cause confusion. Campbell profited, but what a fantastic save from the first goalkeeper who cost a million pounds. Schwartz. Here's Winterburn. Merson. Oh, came off the knees of Gordon, and Patterson just toes it out. as Winterburn lifts it in to try and find Smith. Armstrong is the only player forward for Crystal Palace, but Solarco's arrived in the middle. And with the clock running down towards the last minute, Palace were happy just to put it out for a throw. Oh, I hope he's not leaving. Campbell, that's awkward, Wright was there, so too was Martin with another save. Alan Smith, hardly able to contain his anxiety. Adams, here's Armstrong. Time perhaps for Arsenal to launch just one more attack. Mr. Bodenham having a good look at the watch and the whistles in the mouth and Crystal Palace have recorded their first win of the season. Alan Smith's side, second bottom with just four points before today, have beaten Arsenal here at Highbury. The first time they've enjoyed a league victory at Highbury and it couldn't have come at a better time for Palace. Solarco's two first half goals proving sufficient. Ian Wright recorded the milestone of his century of goals in an Arsenal shirt, but it's overshadowed by the final scoreline of Arsenal 1, Crystal Palace 2.